All right, they're strong, they're fast, and they know how it feels to be the only girl on the team. We have Chicago's only all-girls Little League baseball team, the Humble Park Gators. Guys, welcome to the program here today. Thank you. Yeah, we got uh, Naomi, we got Mia, we got uh, Camille as well, and we got Coach Mitchell. How are you doing here today? Very good, John. So talk us through this. So you all played on uh, different boys teams, right? And you decided to bring an all-girls team together. What made you guys prompt and do that? Well, I'd been coaching uh, in boys baseball. My, my daughter was often the only girl on the team. And she and I, uh, and 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 uh, her mom, my wife, Alva Cardenas, we had we always had a sense that it was kind of weird that she felt isolated, and it seemed kind of unfair too that girls were getting always pushed out of baseball and into softball. So um, we all through the three of us, we decided we wanted to have a bigger impact. And we just started walking up to other parents at, on baseball and softball diamonds, and, and we just decided, you know, hey, you guys want to come to a practice, a baseball practice? We had no idea what we were doing, and, and that was back last summer, and we had our first practice with just five girls in June, and it has developed and developed and developed with a lot of hard work, and here we are. We're just two months away from opening day at Roberto Clemente Little League in Humble Park. Opening day. Can't wait. Camilo, i got to ask, so some people might say, why don't you just play softball? Why do you want to play baseball instead? I play baseball because first I've started off playing baseball and uh, when I was supposed to transition to softball I was like you know what I really like baseball and I want to stick with it and so that's why I'm still playing baseball. Mia when you were on a team with a bunch of boys uh, obviously that was probably fun too but what is it is it more fun playing with all the girls what do you like about it playing with a with a bunch of girls instead? Well I like playing with girls because they understand you more and it's more fair than being stereotyped by boys saying like like they're trying to isolate you from the team because you're a girl and they're boys. So I think that we should have like something too, like a team with all girls playing baseball. I mean, what do you think? What is your favorite part about being a part of the team? You must be really excited for the games. Naomi. Naomi, sorry. I told her to correct me, so I appreciate that. Naomi, what's your favorite part about playing on the team? Um, well, I like that it's an all girls team because like you could relate to them a lot more. And when you play against the boys, uh, it's a lot more fun to see their reaction because mm -hmm. they realize once they realize that we know how to play baseball and that we're good at it they just end up being all shocked <laughs> <laughs> and they shouldn't be right but that must be one of the competitive uh, fun things going into the season I bet you guys can't wait to get into game action and beat a bunch of the boys teams yeah. yeah. You guys feel like you can, of course. I, yeah. I bet you can. Coach, uh, I, I know we're, you know, look, women have been playing sports for a long time. Title IX now, four decades old. But we seem to be having a real movement now, too. And we're talking about, you know, uh, you know, sports dads, you know, uh, girl dads. You know, that's an important thing. That must mean a lot to you, too. Now we're seeing this whole movement around, you know, Girls obviously doing the same thing that guys are doing. That's right. And in baseball in particular, there's a national nonprofit organization called Baseball for All. We have a, a, an affiliate of it here in Illinois, Illinois Girls Baseball, that we're a part of. It's a movement to get girls playing baseball, you know. And the, the thing that we think about all the time is, you know, baseball is baseball. It's not like the biggest thing in the world, but it's just the wrong message to be telling our girls that we have America's pastime here and you can't do it. You have to go over here and do something else. Oh, and it's soft, softball. It's a softball. It's a big ball. Oh, and we're not going to train you very well either. A lot of softball, there's some real competitive softball. I love softball. I respect these women who do it. But a lot of it is just really about getting the girls segregated off the side and not training them rigorously. So what we do in baseball, we train them really rigorously. And what we find, girls this age, if they get the same attention, the same, same, same training as boys, they can compete with boys. They can play as well as boys or even better because they have a worth work ethic and they focus and they are great athletes and we cannot wait to get on the baseball diamond this summer. We'll wait and see what the records are but without a doubt you guys have the best mascot and the best team around. Uh, Mia what is this uh, team named after? Uh, the Humble Park Gator. That down in the lake. Yes, that is named after Chance the Snapper. That's really cool stuff. I actually thought it was going to be great if we get a parent on in here to talk about what that means. So, Giovanna, why don't you come on in here? Welcome. Let's give a round of applause, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. So, who's your daughter, by the way? Is she here or is she? She's um, out there in the audience, uh, Rosie Gonzalez. Hey, Rosie. So, what does it mean to you to see your, uh, your girl playing uh, oh, baseball? It's, it's been wonderful. This whole journey's been really amazing. It's, um, I want to say, when the girls got together, they're a little more comfortable. There's a little more like laughs and smiles. They work really hard and just seeing them develop because they've come a very long way. Are we going to be able to watch these games? I mean, you guys play at Roberto Clemente. Are you expecting a big turnout for opening day? Absolutely. We are expecting a big turnout. It's May 2nd. It's a Saturday. It'll be one of our only Saturday games. And then we're going to play every Tuesday and Friday for 16 games in Humble Park on the near northwest side. 
That's great. All right, last question for you three. Cubs fans or Sox fans? Cubs. Socks. Okay, we got a Sox representation there too. Felicia in solidarity clapping with her Sox. Hey, no matter what, it's so great and it's a wonderful sport. And as baseball continues its evolution, I think the more girls we get playing, the better because it'll help build the sport. Absolutely, absolutely. And actually, Major League Baseball is putting a lot into youth baseball and now girls baseball as well. We get a lot of support from them. That's great stuff. Go Gators, guys. Good luck this year, all right? Thank Thanks you. so much for stopping yeah. by. So to keep up with the team and find out their schedule, go cheer them on. You can follow them on Facebook at Humble Park Gators. How about those ladies, ladies? Those are